Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use my new Canva frame. This is a lace border alphabet frame. Uh, you can see here I've done a little example for you. This is the border around the words here, and I'll blow that up. You can see that's a lacy border. And the words are true frames. You can put in um, patterns to make whatever you want there. So what we've got here, uh, you've got the full alphabet, it's all uppercase, and then you have numbers zero through nine, and then you have your common symbols, and they've all got that lace around them. I wanna show you a few things you can do with this file. So I'm just gonna add a new page here and we're going to just kind of play with it a little bit. Um, I'm gonna take these first three, A, B, C. I'm gonna copy them, Control C to copy. I'm gonna paste them, Control V, onto this page down here. We're just going to increase the size so that you can see what we are doing. Each letter is grouped. You will need to ungroup it and move the lace off of the top so that you can access the frame. You can make the frame a solid color. You can add a pattern to the frame. I ungrouped that, I'm gonna pull the lace off. And then let me come in here and just add this like gingham pattern in. Um, you can add a gradient to your frame if you would like. Let me move that lace off. So to change it to a color, you just, right now it's got a transparent fill so that you can put your pattern in. You just click this little box and let's put this kind of a blue gradient on it. Now let's do a lighter blue. Okay, so those are the different fills that you can do with this frame. Now let's work with the lace. There's a couple different things that you can do with the lace as well. So for this one, I'm going to pull, now this might happen to you. It's trying to put the lace into the frame. If that were to go, that's not at all what we want. I'm gonna hit Control Z. If that starts to happen to you, just pull it up close to your letter and then select them both and come to this position and center them up and your lace will then go on top of your letter. All right, now. Let's work with this piece of lace. So one thing you can do is come up here and change the color of the lace. I can make it the same pink as the letter. I can make it purple, blue, this brown. You can change the color of the lace to whatever you want. Let me change the backdrop of this page to black because I'm gonna start working with white now and you won't be able to see it on a white background. Okay. The one thing you can't do is come up here and click on a white and have the lace turn white. Yes, you can get your lace to be white, but this isn't going to work. The way the file is designed so that the lace actually looks like lace and not just a flat shape, um, it's got some different shadings into it that when you click white, it's just not going to work. What you need to do if you want white lace is first of all, pick a white color and then come up in here to the edit. You're gonna come into your filters and you're gonna scroll down until you get to these here. <laughs> They're going to start turning it white for you. This one usually works the best. But you can play around with that. Once you get that on there, you need to come back out of your filters and go into your adjust. This is where you're going to adjust your colors. Then take this brightness and just drag it all the way up and now you have white. It's really, really easy. It just takes a couple little clicks and you can get that full on white look. Let me blow this up a little bit. You've got your white lace there. Okay, something else that you can do with your lace. Let's see here, I'm gonna position these and I'm gonna turn this lace um, a pinkish kind of color. So let me select just my lace, come in here and get a pretty pink. Let's go with maybe a brighter pink. Let's do that for now. I'm gonna turn this background back to white. 
Okay. Close this out. You can also take this lace and move it behind your graphic. So I'm gonna hit the position. I've got my lace selected. I'm gonna hit position and we're just gonna move it backwards. And now you can see instead of the lace overlapping the letter like it does in this example, it is completely behind the letter. And what you can come up here and do is add a border to your letter. So I've got the letter selected. We're just gonna hit our little stroke right here, put on a small stroke, and we're gonna to wanna to match the color of our design. So we can change the color of the stroke right here. Let's go to a pink, maybe a brighter pink. And there you go, it's now got that subtle border on there. I want that border maybe to be more the same color as the lace. Let's see here. That's better, okay. So play around with that, but that is another thing that you can do. Um, and you can also give your lace a fun kind of texture let me just grab this one here. Let's turn it, um, let's go with the blue for now. So if you edit and you come in here to your adjust colors and you scroll down to this last little section here, the vignette, you can pull that up or down and it's going to, it's not really noticeable right now unless I change some more stuff. Let's. Uh, just kind of play with this a little bit. Okay, there we go. Now it's coming in. It just gives it a more of a, oh, now you can see it really good. Okay, it just gives it some dimension, like this is lighter and this is darker. It's sort of um, a way to get a gradient on there without actually being able to add a gradient. That just gives it a little bit of depth. So you can come in and play with your shadings. You can come in and play with your filters. Whatever you want, you can get these lace borders to be whatever color you want them to be. I wonder what it would look like if I put this on that. Let's see here. Move out of my way, everything else. Let's see, put those two together. Well, that's kind of cool. I wasn't trying to make those two match, but they ended up kind of going together pretty well. Um, let's move the lace to the back and see what that does. And we'll put a border on this guy. Whoops, not what I meant to do. There we go. Ooh, can that border be, oh, so cool. I didn't realize you could make a gradient on the border. So there we go. All right, lots of different fun things you can do with this lace border frame set. Um, I will link to it in my Etsy shop, and if you have any questions, let me know. That's all I've got for you. We'll see you next time.